Hello and welcome to day 10 of Vlogmas. So before we start anything off today we have our usual advent calendar first. And they switched it up yesterday so we have a lip cream today. And it's number 10 down here in Copenhagen. So uh, it's been ripped so oh well. And it's dark again. It's dark. It's dark. It's another plum. Can you see that? A little, maybe. It's not as dark as Transylvania, so I may wear this one. But I don't know. Hopefully the next ones are lighter again, because I do prefer the lighter ones. But we will have to wait and see. So today, I've spent the day Netflixing. Is that even a verb? It is now. But I've been watching The Crown. I finished off the season today. Started it a few weeks ago, but I finished it today. And I'm going to give you my thoughts. I did have something else planned for today, but it's going to take a little bit more planning. So some of you know what it is, and when it's ready, you will know. So let's talk about the crown for now. I can see now why the queen wants this to be cancelled. The queen by the end of it is sort of painted out to be the villain character of the series, which I really don't like by the way Netflix. Prince Philip is painted to be the party boy always coming in drunk, not really being supportive or anything like that. And Princess Margaret is seen... I'm trying to find the right word here. So give me a minute while I try and find it. She's seen to be the rebel of the family, following in her uncle's footsteps, but then makes a choice which separates her from her uncle. So. I really like this series, but it is more than likely highly fictionalised. Obviously it does draw inspiration from real events and newspaper clippings and whatnot, but it's still highly fictionalised, which can be seen as being annoying. It's still pretty good. Some of the camera work in this is amazing like when they're in Australia we have the images of the confetti flying through the air, the slow-mo of the Queen and Prince Philip in the car waving to the crowds with the flashlights from the cameras, the bulbs rather, from the cameras going off. Amazing cinematography work which I absolutely love. Um, most of you know that I adore watching the extended edition for The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit because it tells you all about how they made the movies. So that sort of stuff interests me a lot. Also, it's about the royal family. And I secretly adore the royal family. Mostly it comes from being a big history geek which everybody knows my degree is English and History so I had to study the royal family quite a lot I did study this time period quite a bit in third year of university so that was interesting getting to compare what I've learned with this show mostly I studied it from a political viewpoint um, from the liberals right the way on to modern day I think it was I know that I definitely studied Margaret Thatcher. I can't remember how far along we got, but I really like this series. So I hope there's season two that's made. It's got Matt Smith in it, and he's just an adorable little awkward giraffe. I still see him as Doctor Who, even though he's in this. I still see Doctor Who, which is kind of weird, I suppose. But for me, he's always going to be Doctor Who. So now all I need to do is find a new series to watch, which is proving kind of hard. I just spent about 20 minutes looking through trying to find something. I might watch a 100, but I know something that happens with Klexa. 
I don't want to become emotionally attached to these characters because of that. So I just need to go and find something to watch now. Seeing as Once Upon a Time will be on its mid-season break and The Missing is... Well, I need to catch up in a few episodes. So it's either over or just about to be over. So I'm running out of things to watch. So I need to find something new. I mean, I know I still have Heartland and Big Bang Theory, but that's only two shows. So I need something else to watch. So if any of you have suggestions, comment down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like The Crown and if you've watched it, tell me what your favourite part is as well in the comments below. And subscribe so that when this much anticipated video comes out that I was talking about earlier, so that when that is put up, you'll know when it is. And hopefully I'll be able to get that video off the ground in the next week. Because it's going to be something a little different from what I've done so far. So it's going to take a little bit of planning, but once it's ready, you'll know. So until tomorrow,